Hi, it's Pete from Record Power again. Um, today I'm going to take you through a BDS 150 um, belt and disc sander. A few tips on how to change the actual drive belt, the disc, um, the belt on the back of there as well, some advice about that. Um, first off, I'm going to um, change the actual uh, rele uh, no release switch on there. Well, I've known this machine for some uh, 20 odd years now and we must sell uh, I've sold thousands of these over the years and it is one of the things the guys in the service department do get regular calls on is how to change the switch and belt and disc as I've already said so just a few tips on uh, that which might be of use to you so say so first of all I'm going to change the actual switch itself it's a little no volt release switch it's quite a simple little uh, unit so it's got four connections and basically you've got live and neutral, live and neutral, so in and out basically. So then you've got your uh, green start and stop. It's got a little flange around the outside and on the side it's got two little clips. And the clips actually locate it inside. So um, it makes it a little bit difficult to change the switch. There's no easy way. The easiest way actually is just to prise the unit out. Um, so that's what I do. But first of all, you need to unplug your machine. Make sure it's isolated. And what I do as well, I just tip it over. So hopefully you can see what's going on. Um, so first, you need a screwdriver. Just prise the unit out. Just saying, you've got four wires on there. So a good little tip is to get a felt pen or something like that so you don't mix the wires up. Just put a um, black marker pen against them so you know which are the front two and which are the back two. And then just take those off. So refitting it is the reverse of taking it out. So green to the left. And then one's a little bit tight you'll have on the side of it as well uh, the actual switch the in and the out so it's just lining those up just push those on Make sure they're nicely up there. Not a lot of wire on this one, it's a little bit tight. A little bit of a fiddle on that one. Like it's in. That looks like it, but I'll just plug it in first and try it before I push the actual switch in place. Unplug it again, just make sure that's okay. Hi, following on through the fitting of the switch, what we're going to do now is actually do a belt change. So we'll change this worn belt. Uh, to do that, again, we're, we'll isolate the machine. That's safe. What I need is a 10mm spanner, and I'll take off the little stop guard on here as well. Again, I'll release the arm. 
just let me take it, I'll just pinch it. And take the tension off with this little spring lever here. That takes the spring off. Then it's just a matter of guiding the belt out. While you've got the uh, belt off, it wouldn't be a bad idea just to give the machine a little brush down underneath. Get off all the dust and stuff. You can even get your extractor in there and clean it out. Take advantage of the time just to clean your machine out while you're, when you're doing a belt change. So, we do um, a range of belts, 60, 80 and 120 grit and a pack of three and the same with the discs, those are the standard range we, we, we uh, stock so I'm putting an 80 grit on it on this occasion so it's sort of middle of it and if you have a check of the inside of the belt you'll see the directions of the manufacturers put in there the rotation of the actual belt itself so those are the, the running way the belt runs. So the machine runs towards the stop. So your arrows want to run towards that as well when you're replacing it on. You feed it on just a little at a time. If you put one side on more than the other, what has happened is you won't be able to feed it on there properly. Okay. Put your tension on, drop that down. We're just checking a couple of times first. We switch it on. And we do our tracking. So if we switch it on, well, it's actually the belt. When you come to the final bar to the uh, right, what we're looking to do is to get this to be running six of the central. So just small movement as you're doing it. We'll leave it for a second to see if it's okay. And we can stop it and then just try it again so I'm trying to get that belt center of the actual drive uh, wheel here and I say when you get to the last part of it just a little bit at a time don't make big movements that's fine so what I can do now is refit the guard And I want that so as I've got clearance underneath, but not too much of a gap. And what I can also do is just square that off. So that face is square to the, the stop. flap on there but that's there's always a little bit of movement in the belt as well so the next process I'll take you through will be changing the actual drive disc on there as well so with this again need to isolate the machine before we make any adjustments and it's just a case of peeling the old disc off If you've got heavy bits of residue on there from the glue, you can actually scrape these off. You can get some oops and get some cleaner to anything to remove the glue off there. It doesn't matter if you scratch it a little bit, just a little um, just sticking there again. Um, but again, I'm fitting um, 
80 grits on there. So you've got a tab on there. If you take this back about halfway and fold it, what you can actually do is put that in, line it up so far, and turn it round. Just check this about right. Press the bottom bit in. Pull the paper out. Just check that's okay. And then just pull it back in and try it again. So, so if you fold that paper back halfway, what it allows you to do rather than pulling all of the paper off, you can put it in, you can line it up better at the sides, and then just fit it on. I was looking for the square I put down on the table. You check, just check your fence off of that. It's okay, you've got a little scale on the side and what you get when you get it from new. If you set the machine up with a square, you can zero in your scale on the side. It'll get a little, little bit more accurate on the side of there. So do that first before you introduce that little scale onto the side of it. Your outlet on this you can fit this directly up to 100 mil O's with the, um, our adapter here. It's a nice good fit in there. And while you've got, you're doing your belts and stuff, always check your drive belt in here. You've got a tough drive belt in there, so you've got a good belt in there. But just check the condition of that, and also as it's nice and clean. And it's got a little collar on this side, so if you do need to change it, you can take it off from the bottom and hook it over that one first before you slide it onto that one. And that's about your surface on, on, on the machine. Change both of our belt and the disc, and we've done the switch, so that's up and going. Um, I'll do a little one as well with the machine fitted up to um, an extractor. Uh, just to show you how it performs with um, the um, one of the comebacks. Okay, cheers. Catch you soon. Bye.